Apart from the ESN crisis with uh, the military, you know, Imo State Governor admitted that he was the one that um, requested the military's presence in um, Olu. Apart from that crisis, we know something else is going on. That is um, the third between Rocha Sokorocha, the former governor of Imo State, and the incumbent governor, Hopo Zodima. We don't know what is the reason behind their fight. But one thing that we've known that is consistent with politicians is that um, uh, more often than not, <laughs> Predecessors and uh, successors, they never, they are never on the same path. After they leave office, it becomes uh, a battle, a serious battle. We don't know what is going on. We can see that happening in Edo State, Governor Obaseki and uh, uh, Oshomole. In Kanu State, Ganduje and uh, Kankwaso, Imo State, now Rocha, Sokorocha and uh, Hopo Zodima. So it's something that happens. I really don't know why it's going that way but um, recently Hopo Zodima has vowed to recover every looted uh, um, property every looted form the former governor of the state um, looted you know he was the one that also called out on um, EFCC the economic and financial crimes to actually investigate Rocha Sokorocha eight years that they should put those eight years under their microscope that they are going to find a lot of interesting things and you know also the drama also uh, um, took a different turn when um, Hopo Zodima ordered the arrest of Okorocha over some properties. It's been ongoing. It's still ongoing. But we've got a shocking and a surprising one right now that a madman, a madman was seen reacting and speaking to Rocha Okorocha, warning him seriously. Isn't it surprising? And this has drawn a lot of reaction. We'll bring more details shortly, but before we do, guys, please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Thank you once again. Of recent, the former governor of Imo State, Senator Rochas Owela Okorocha, has been in the news lately after the current Imo State governor sealed his wife's estate on the basis that his wife didn't build the estate with her own personal money, but with embezzled funds. And when the case got to court last week, the estate was forfeited to the government. In another video that's going viral, a madman was recorded while he was talking to a car driver inside traffic in Imo as he alleged that the former governor would surely go to prison for the atrocities he has committed while he was governor of the state. He said Rocha Sokorocha is trying to bring in some modalities so that the state wouldn't send him to prison, that he's trying to bring in Ogumba in order for him to cover up his wrongdoings and he will still be the one to bring Ogumba against them. But notwithstanding, he will surely go to prison. This is truly interesting. We know this is what uh, uh, Imo State Governor Hopo Zodima stated, that this is what um, EFCC, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, this is what they should do to Rocha Sokorocha. Shockingly, on a traffic, on a, 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 a traffic, a madman was, was seen uh, making this remarks, making this comments, and I wouldn't know if it's just a coincidence, but uh, we know someone that is mad. Obviously, the person is not stable, and uh, we know um, mad people, uh, people that walk on the street, sometimes they they still they still make some sense, even though that um, they are in the condition that they are right now. And Nigerians have, have reacted that uh, this all of these words that are coming for Rocha Sokorocha. Um, it's, it's something for him to really look out and watch out. You know, when all of these um, allegations about um, the the estate that was sealed off, that it wasn't their personal money they used in, in building the estate and all of the other uh, um, buildings or structures in the state, Okorocha at some point responded that he wasn't a poor man before he joined politics, that he already had money. You know, that was what he was stating, that he was already well-to-do, he was already rich before he became a politician. And that is the only person who has come to Imo State to invest. That who else has invested in Imo State? And why are they after him? Why are they attacking him? But um, all of this explanation is good anyway. But um, it will get to the point that um, he has to explain himself in court. You know, the last decision the court took was that uh, there was going to be a temporary for future. We know what that means. It's not permanent yet until they find the uh, um, evidence beyond reasonable doubt. Now, most probably it wasn't his personal fund. So it's now time for Okorocha to uh, really, really um, bring forth a strong reason, make his case known. Because the case before him right now is um, Hopo Zodima is stating 
that um, all of the properties um, they were built by the state's fund. Even the um, the university, the Eastern Palm University, you know, Rocha Sokorocha is even claiming that one. That one is surprising as well. Rocha Sokorocha is claiming that that university is his. And you know, Hope Ozodima has vowed to change the name of that university and then um, they've taken over that that is not going to happen in Imo State. This battle is ongoing. It's been ongoing. But for this madman to be spotted stating that Okorocha will surely go to prison is really, really uh, interesting to note. And you know, Nigerians have, uh, some Nigerians are of the opinion that um, Rocha Sokorocha really, really looted the state. Some are of the opinion that the Supreme Court governor, you know, Hope Ozodima is referred to as Supreme Court governor. Some are of the opinion that it's just the Supreme Court governor uh, that uh, wants to uh, make, uh, uh, um, just, uh, he just wants to terrorize Rocha Sokorocha. I don't know whatever the affair is. But however, Hope Ozodima has been cautioned that as you're on this journey to recover all the loot, recovering all the loot, if you claim that uh, Rocha Sokorocha really looted, ensure that you don't reloot them you know our politicians <laughs> you never can tell their actions so nigerians have been reacting someone is saying that um sitting governor are you a saint are you there to fight rocha sokorocha do something make emo state happy let people you are governing be happy if rochas didn't get right use this opportunity to put things right not fighting each other all this set the state backwards showing power that will not last forever. So this person to him is calling out on um, Imo State Governor. That are you even a saint? You know, uh, you know, people are stating that it was even the back door. Uh, Hope Ozodima used in getting in. He was not the winner of the election. He came forth, but it was the Supreme Court that declared him winner. So they are calling him that even if you're claiming right now that Rocha Sokorocha looted, what are you doing? You make Imo people happy. You know, Imo like they've still not even accepted him as the governor of the state as their choice because he was far from their choice because he was number four. He wasn't their choice at all. This person is calling out to uh, Hope Ozodima that all this fighting you people are fighting, it's not in, in the favor of the people. Do what will make the people happy. Do what will make the people reap um, dividends of uh, democracy. Anyway, another one is stating here that uh, even a madman saw through Owella Rocha Sokorocha, but my heart failed me when I looked around Imo State and saw lots of tele television Christians. Do I call them busy mongers jumping whenever Rocha is saying those high sounding words with no meaning? How can one man steal virtually everything under his watch without any iota of remorse? God, please look down to us with lots of mercy. Thieves are stronger and bolder than the owners at Mam Umbakwe's Imo State. Well, we'll see how all of this plays out. Anyways, let's hear your own take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share and to subscribe. Please also click on that notification bell. Press the bell until it turns gray. We really appreciate you. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye for now and God bless.